Let's make some stock market news. We opened the week about 1% in the positive territory. Temple Ashaju has the details of these and the other markets. A bit of a summary of that. Then we'll talk about our commodities market. Temple, uh, let's get back to you on this cement. This is a big story for cement. You can get as big as you can. That's big story around Dangote cement. And that's why a lot of investors are really bullish on the, on the cement sector in the markets this year. Uh, in 2017, because of the uh, uh, economic recession that we saw, a lot of them uh, underperformed. They were uh, performing in the negative territory, 2.2% for 2017. Uh, but for 2018, uh, given what has transpired and the full year earnings of Dangote Cement, which was released uh, last week, we've seen that that sector grew some 4.5% uh, for 2018. And of course, you know that a lot of them were beginning to focus more on volume, uh, diversification of their energy uh, sources and all of that, which all reflected more in Dangote Cement, except for the like of Lafarge that uh, uh, it had so much of uh, foreign uh, debt. So, uh, but going forward, uh, I think uh, from this year on, uh, these companies, given the economic growth that we've seen, recovery that we've seen, they should be able to uh, perform better. We had uh, someone from Afri Invest last week who also, you know, gave us a snippet of what to expect in that sector this year. So, like you said, Dangote Cement could hit a trillion naira in its headline uh, going forward, Boson. Yes, Temple, so what's the rest of the market looking like? Equity seems to be getting its bearings back yesterday. And yes, they took a bit of uh, mm -hmm. a very small beating, but uh, the fixed income, guys, looks like where the big action really, uh, really is, uh, is it? Yeah, Bozen, uh, you know, the, the, of course, prices uh, came to some kind of uh, support level for enough for some investors to make entry after the exit of a lot of foreign investors who then channeled their funds into the debt market. So yesterday, we up some 95 business points. We saw the recovery of some 112 0.9 billion naira out of the 256 billion naira that the market lost. Uh, last week due to the sell-offs. We saw year-to-date uh, increasing, improving to some 2.2%. That's positive. Some 302.7 absolute points gains in the key benchmark index yesterday, which is really, really positive. If that kind of projection uh, continues today, we should see the equity capitalization hitting the 12 trillion naira mark again. So generally, we saw some 25 gainers yesterday versus 10 uh, losers. Uh, MC Nichols had the highest gains. Some people trying to take advantage of the proposal dividend of five cobo in that particular company while pz was the uh, topmost loser yesterday top trade was diamond bank had some uh, gains of 8.23 percent and of course 33 million units of his shares traded but the activity level was quite negative we got 33 percent decline and uh, in the volume of transaction and of course value was down some 30 percent but deals settled as 3544 and if we go to the sectoral performances Wema Bank gained some 9%, Diamond Bank 8.23%, FCMB had some 5.7%, Guarantee Trust Bank, FBN Holdings, and Zenith Bank all recorded gains yesterday and was able to push up the indices by 2.66%. Uh, uh, consumer goods segment of the market, international breweries which hardly moves because of the whole lot of investment in that particular company, saw some 8% gains yesterday as well as Dangode Flower and pushed up the indices at the end of the day. Uh, industrial goods segment of the market is the key sector to watch. We have Dangode Cement gaining marginally 0.20%. Wapco gained some 0.78%. Kiotic did some 9.76%. Uh, but in terms of insurance segment of the market, a bit of losses there. Name Insurance, Law Union and Rock both recorded declines and was able to outweigh the uh, lead to gains that a couple of uh, firms in that subsector uh, talk about the likes of Lasaco, uh, the gains that they had was outweighed by uh, the negative performance we saw on law union and name insurance. Oil and gas segment of the market, there was a lull yesterday for this key sector. Uh, we didn't see any movement. That's the energy segment of the market. Corn oil, long chain, Forte oil, 11 PLC, MRS, O and Do, Seplat in spite of the earnings that a lot of investors are watching out for. No movement in a lot of them. Total, Etana PLC, Japal, Capital Oil, all remained the same way they were. Earlier, the OTC uh, was weak yesterday, 0.38%. We we'll still have the uh, USI at the 746 uh, point three uh, point level. Uh, market capitalization at 536 billion naira, but just 53,200 units of shares done there yesterday. Uh, for the uh, debt market, 
Bonds market and T-bills market both recorded bearish sentiments yesterday. Uh, markets at the bond side of things made reversal from bullish trend average yield rose from 5 basis points to 14%. We got sell pressure across the short end of the curve by 3, uh, three basis points. Uh, the mid end of the curve was also uh, increased, had some increase by 3 basis points. And of course, the long end of the curve uh, saw some 13%, uh, some 13 basis points. I beg your pardon. Investors ended up dumping the uh, 23rd of February 2028 uh, 2020 security, and of course uh, they dumped uh, July 2030 and March 2037 as well. For the Treasury bill segment of the markets, we saw the CBN coming back to the markets with a whole lot of uh, uh, home auctions, except for the long end of the curve where there was no activity yesterday, and it was really oversubscribed. Some 20, 200 billion naira actually was offered, and of course demand was more on the 192-day to maturity bills. Uh, both. Big earnings is what investors are looking at. Tomorrow, the 6th of March, Seplat Petroleum Development Company, it's, uh, that's uh, Seplat PLC, listed in Lagos and London Stock Exchanges, will be releasing its numbers to those two exchanges, and we expect everyone to swarm over those numbers. Temple Ashaju, our business correspondent, live at the Stock Exchange. Temple, welcome back to the program. Let's wrap this up together. Uh, hi, As hi. always, big numbers is what inv investors are still digesting the Angote Cement. Uh, any per share and dividend. Uh, the banks seem to be a little bit quiet. What, what are you hearing? What big name numbers are coming through uh, aside Steplat that is already uh, put, that, put everyone on notice for tomorrow? Uh, I think the banking names, uh, a few of them are still on the radar at this point. You have a lot of investors still con considering a lot of them. Uh, UBA is a good example, uh, as well as uh, Access Bank. These are companies that you currently found, find on the top trades chart of the market. Uh, you also have Airbnb Holdings. In the past few sessions, a lot of these companies, uh, these uh, financial services firms, have actually been driving up gains in the market. Yesterday, they were also uh, really positive, except for two days ago. With the last two sessions where we saw a little bit of profit taken in them. I think the trend is still what we're seeing right now uh, being maintained in the market. Uh, look at Wemma Bank, for example, which is even a tier two uh, bank. It's uh, yesterday, uh, as of yesterday, had done some 14% uh, in, uh, in past two sessions. And that's brought its share price to some 84 naira. And that tells you that a lot of investors are just taking position ahead of the earnings uh, that might be declared by these banks, no matter how little or more rates the uh, earnings may be. So they're still the key uh, 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 names driving the market, albeit the fact that the market is currently uh, uh, at a lull. We're seeing just some 0.01% gain in the all share index. That's what we have right now. But then if you look at the insurance names as well, some key insurance uh, firms are also uh, getting, getting, getting some gains from the market. We have WAPIC insurance currently uh, doing well in the market, has appreciated uh, marginally in its share price. So the interest of a lot of investors and traders, broker dealer community at this point is in the financial services segment of the market because you know that any moment from now the earnings will be trickling in. Our guarantee trust bank has seen a beat of hundreds of thousands of units traded so far, but that hasn't changed anything in its share price. For a lot of them, that hasn't really changed anything in the share price except for uh, UBA, which has gained some one naira thirty kobum. So you expect. Uh, a lot of investors to be putting their money on ground for this particular company just in anticipation of the dividends uh, pro that will be proposed by a lot of the, uh, uh, the company boards going forward, Bosun. Yes, uh, but Tempo, you there uh, on the trading floor uh, all day uh, and, and all of that. Uh, what's the chatter there among uh, uh, market uh, traders? Uh, have they said uh, final goodbye to the elections uh, and so well, earnings is king right now are there still there's still some murmurs around the elections uh on the floor the election is more like a, a bygone affair right now uh, the, the focus is now more on the uh, uh the trades on the transactions on how do you buy how do you sell uh well, what should you buy what should i sell what should i reduce what should i hold 
Uh, that's the where the focus is right now. Way before we had the presidential and national assembly election, you can hear uh, from the market open to the market closed on daily basis. A lot of arguments, a lot of charts around uh, who should win this election, what party should lose, who should actually, for what should they focus on, uh, what should, you know, all of that is now a bygone affair. What we now hear more on the trading floor is uh, uh, what's to buy, what's to sell. I mean, uh, what's the valuation for this particular company? Are they likely to meet the projections of our analysts in-house and all of that? That's what the conversation is about right now. I know more about uh, politics. Yesterday, for example, they had uh, the fixed income. Uh, uh, training organized by the Nigerian Stock Exchange for over 200 participants, stakeholders, traders, dealers here in the market. And that's what the focus is right now. The gubernatorial election is not uh, so much of interest in the market because those are at state levels and it's not even all the state governments that will be holding election at this point in time, Bosun. Yes, I'm not sure any, uh, I'm not too sure about it, just guessing if any of the brokers will say, look, I'm traveling to my state to vote for a particular governor. Uh, because it looks like Lagos is where uh, big stories are happening around the business and the markets. Okay, Temple, let's uh, leave it there for today. Thank you very much for your time. Let's keep all our eyes tomorrow on Seplat, releasing its uh, earnings to Nigerian Stock Exchange and the London Stock Exchange. The big story in Nigeria's EMP, all of that uh, tomorrow. When we return, it's going to be Wednesday, the 6th of March. Goodbye from Lagos. Thanks for watching.